G'day ice cream lovers, welcome back to Scoop School. Why have I got this GoPro on my head? Well, I'm willing to look like a goose for you, the ice cream lover out there who wants to learn a little bit more about using this activated charcoal product in their uh, different ice cream products. We just did a video on putting the uh, activated charcoal or the coal canut charcoal in a ice cream product and we scooped it up, nice black ice cream. Here we're gonna make a black waffle cone, relatively easy. We're gonna jump straight into it on this GoPro. Okay folks, so here we are. We've got our Kobatco waffle iron. We always love Kobatco. They do a great job. Uh, they send equipment down here for Scoop School, so we're using them. We're also using their um, ready-made uh, waffle cone mix, and they have a great program. I really suggest you check them out. Uh, if you're using the waffle cone machine uh, and you're using the mix at the same time, anything goes wrong with this machine, they'll basically ship you a new one free of charge. Great people down there. Talk to Brian. Good fella. Okay, so this is our already made up waffle cone base. I put a little bit of vanilla extract in here. I really like putting vanilla in here because I think that it's one of the things that really signifies um, a difference in product. You can put a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg. What we're gonna do here is again, we've done a couple of videos on this coal canut product, uh, food grade activated carbon ultra fine powder. So again, have a look at a video, a few videos back. We do a bit of a rundown on the pros and cons for using this product. I'm just gonna take one, basically one tablespoon. It doesn't take much when you're uh, utilizing this in a powdered product. When you're with the dairy, it's a little bit different. Well, I'm gonna take a whisk, basically whisk that in, and you can just see almost immediately, we've got this nice thick black, little bit of splash there. And depending how much you put in, again, we've got about a tablespoon in here, it will actually thicken it up a little bit. So you may need to put some more water in here to kind of make it a little bit softer and get that pliability that you like out of your waffle cone base. Remember that this product is used in hospitals to absorb um, toxins and drugs out of people who have either overdosed accidentally or on purpose. And so you'll find that it will actually thicken things pretty quickly. You can see that's a, just a great consistency there. Oh yeah. It's gonna make a bit of a mess. No bars about it. Pop this over here. Okay, so I've got my Kobatco waffle iron here. Uh, beautiful thing now. I know the lads at Kobatco are gonna go mad at me because it's a fairly seasoned iron. Um, in fact, I'm probably gonna have a hard time knowing what's uh, the plate and what's the uh, cone. But in any case, I'm gonna spray top and bottom. And I'm gonna take about a quarter of a cup of my new waffle cone base. Drop that in the middle there. And drop this down. Now we can do a video on um, making waffle cones. I'm not gonna do that now. Look at that, uh, that is exactly what we want. And I'll tell you right now, it smells, oh, I just love wafting it in. It smells, we should open a hookah bar and just have waffle cone mist being ingested. Uh, it smells exactly like waffle cone. So this uh, product here doesn't actually make much of a difference so far as the smell or the taste, just the color, which is nice. So what we're gonna do here is get our roller and our mandrel ready, um, and also some sort of utensil to pick it up. Because the idea is we wanna take it as quickly as we can from the baker to the roller and roll it relatively quickly. We'll make a few of them. Um, and the idea is obviously you don't want a hole in them. So this has been going for one minute, 15 seconds. Um, let's take a break here and come back when it's done. Now I've got 10 seconds to go here, six or so. It may be on the top or it may be on the bottom, depending. But the idea is we're gonna take it off here pretty quickly and then get it onto the roller as fast as we can. So lift this up, it's on the bottom, which is nice. Take that off there, drop it straight down onto our roller here. Sit it up nice and high, roll it. And have a look at that color. Beautiful, let's get another one going. It's like a, it's like a witch's cauldron. In fact, if it was my ice cream shop, I'd be doing these out in front of people all during the evening. Set that off, come back to our cone and have a look at that. 
Oh yeah, a beautiful, rich black cone that uh, has the look and the smell and the taste, not the look, the smell and the taste of a regular waffle cone, but black, jet black. Unbelievable. We'll put another one in, see how it goes. Okay, ready to roll again. That's our uh, one minute mark. Pop this baby off on the bottom again, get right up underneath it. It is warm. Don't kid yourself, sit it up nice and high in the roller there. Roll, roll, roll. As soon as that last little portion goes underneath, a little bit of a push forward. I like to make sure that there's just a little bit of that cone sitting on the outside, or I can see it at the end of this roller, so I know it's gonna give me a nice kind of firm seal. And here's our second cone, oh yes. Can you see air through that? No. Gotta line it up with my head, there we go. So there you go folks, um, creepy uh, waffle mist, yeah. <laughs> uh, but again, a great application for this uh, coal canut or your activated coal products um, really make a difference. We're gonna put a black scoop of black ice cream in here, do a black on black, and then uh, wind it up.